Today we'll be talking about choosing the right team and welcome back to the show. Well, today choosing the right team to me is choosing the right friends, the right people to be in your corner, the right people who are going to help you on the journey that you are going. Um, not talking about a baseball team or anything like that, I'm talking about the team you, who you are. And with that being said, choosing the right people to be in that team means a lot. You want to choose someone, you know, that is close to you, that you can be your authentic self. Now, majority of us, we only have like two or three of those close teammates. And those are the captains on your team. So if you have two or three of those captains on your team, you're doing pretty good. Um, with that said, you know, these people, those captains, those are the ones who are going to hold your ship up. They're going to be there through the good, the bad, the in-between. They're going to be there when it's raw, when it's on fire. They're going to be there no matter what. And they're going to be there, and, they don't, they, and people are not even going to know that they're there. But they're going to be there. They don't even have to be seen. They don't have to be heard. They don't even have to be acknowledged. They just are there. Those are the people that are your captains to your team. Those are the ones that's in your corner. Those are the ones that's going to have your back. Now, we all have our little team players. And those are the ones who are going to be there. They, you know, some of them are there for seasons. You know, they change just like a regular baseball team. How their teams change or the football teams, they change out. Well, these team players, they change out constantly. You know, some of them are there for 10 or 15, maybe 20 years. And, you know, they play really well. But then there's some that comes there to just take. You know, they come and they get what they need and they go. And that's fine too. You love them while they're there. You are there and you they're playing the ball and they're playing the game with you while you're there. They're on your team. You know, but you have to know who to move up and promote as captain and who you need to promote and demote as off the team. Because sometimes people that are on your team are only there to see how far they can make you fall. So you have to be careful for those ones too because, you know, they're waiting for you to strike out. And when you strike out, they're gone too. And then you have to be more careful of who you let in. So be selective of who you let on your team. If they're not there to help you promote you to grow, they're not helping you to build you up, they're not supporting you in your dreams, and I'm not talking about the ones who say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. And then behind your back, snarling and talking about you. You need to watch out for those ones, too. You know, I always say this. You never get rid of anybody that is on your team. You just know where, how far to put them up close to back. Because sometimes those ones who are the snarly ones and who are the you know those are your best assets they give you the best insight they give you the best opportunity to go where you need to go but they're just not there to, to play on your team for a long haul and you know and that's okay you know and then you have the ones who are there you know because of you you know, they're not there because of the limelight. They're not there because of what you got going on. They're not part of your team because of anything else. They're there because of you. And you got to value those ones because those people that are on your team, you bring up a little higher because those are the ones that's there just for you. You know, they'll support you through anything. But they can't be your captain, but they're your supporters. And those are your backbones to your tree. 
you know, <clears throat> just like your cop, your captains are your root, you know, and then your supporters are your trunk, and then your haters that's on your team, you know, those are the leaves, they fall off during the season, so, you know, you just let them have that way. But um, you just got to keep going and know who and where to put the people that are in your life. You know, recently I got ghosted and I didn't even know what ghosted was until recently my daughter was like, oh mom, you've been ghosted. I was like, oh, you know, and this person I thought was one of my, uh, <laughs> as I call it, my roots, but uh, turned out that they was just my leaves. So I had put them in a position that they didn't even needed to be in. So, you know, I had to rethink who was in my, my box and who was really on my team, you know, who was actually my captains because I thought she was my captain and turned out she was just my leaf. And yeah, that, that kind of hurt a little bit, but you know, I got to pick up my, my bootstraps and keep on the going because you know, sometimes people come for a season and sometimes they come for a day or whatever, you know, and that's what it was, you know. But when people do that, it's not a reflection of you. You just got to let yourself go and, and be you, be your authentic self. And if they can accept that, then that is what it is, you know. You can't conform to anybody. You just got to be who you are. And if nobody can accept it but you, then you are the ones that is going on with your team. So you be the player and you be that person to keep persevering on. And finding your team and finding the people who are going to support you and love you for who you are at the moment and before. You know, some people see your future before you do. And you know, they will push you into that direction. And those people, you know, are the ones that you want to be around. Because majority of the time, people will be say, oh yeah, I'm there for you, I'm here for you, and I want to support you. And you're looking around and saying, well, how are you trying to support me? You know, are you just saying it with your mouth, or are you showing me with your actions? And me, from now on, within a year, I, it has been, I've only said, don't show me with your words. Don't tell me nothing. I don't want to see it anymore. I only want to see action. If you're not showing me action, I'm not listening. Because words, people say all the time, and they don't mean it. So, with that said, I only want to see action. You should want to see action too. So, uh, if you're going to support me, show me. And that is where I'm at now. You know... <clears throat> There's a lot of people who are on your team that's saying, oh yeah, well I have everything she needs and I know this person, I know that person and I'll set you up and I'll hook you up to this person. But then they want to, they do this so they can reap the benefits of what you are trying to do. Or they'll come in and steal your joy and take your thunder or even take your idea and say it was theirs and you don't get anything out of it. So you have to be very careful of who you tell your stuff to, who you be around, and know who's on your team that's really on your team and not going to take from you because you need to value yourself more than to just sit there and be taken advantage of. So know who's on your team before you go out there and play. Who wants someone to always agree with you? You know, when you have those people who are keeping it real, you know, sometimes their real is their truth, you know. You don't dismiss it, you know. You listen to what they have to say. And we all know this from experience that everybody's truth is not the same. You know, everybody has their different perspective. You know, so when you have friends who are coming to you and saying, oh, I'm just keeping it real, listen, you know, who knows? You can take the meat and spit out the bone. Use what you can, and then if you can't use the rest, then throw it away, you know. That's the nature of the game, because sometimes, you know, you need that person 
that is not going to be always agreeing with you and that's not going to be the, that cheerleader to say, oh yeah, that's the way it goes. Because those people, like I told you before, you know, those are the ones that's on your team. But when it comes to your captains, those are the ones that's going to tell you like it is. And they're going to keep it real with you regardless of whether you like it or not. And they're not going to hold no bars. So those are your captains. And they're going to keep it 100 whether it was real or not, you know, and they're going to get into your butt regardless of whether you like it or not. So, you know, when you find those people, those are the ones that you need to keep close and near dear to you. Because, you know, the ones who are always saying, oh yeah, you know, that's sad or, you know, always agreeing with you, you need those too, you know. You have different people in your life, and I said this yesterday, you have different people at different stages of your life. And you have different people for different things in your life. You have a person that you can go to when you want to cry. You have a person that you know when you're having a bad day and you just want to pull your hair out. You want to lay on the couch and eat Chunky Monkey and pull your, just pull your hair out and just have a rough day. You know that person that you can call. You know when you're having a fun time and you, you know, want to go out and do something fun and exciting. You know who that person is. And then when you just don't want to do anything and you just want to sit there, you know who that person is too. So you have different friends and different people in your life for different things. And they do different things. Not all your friends are going to do the same thing or want to do the same thing. So you know who you can go to or who you can call for what you need, you know. And that's the way life is, you know. Sometimes you don't have friends to just like do everything all your friends don't do everything you know i had one friend that told me recently she was like well I, I don't have friends to go out to the movies and stuff you know none of them want to do anything she's like only a half you and i told her i actually told her this yesterday i said you know you have friends to do different things with not all your friends going to want to do everything that you know you want to do so you if you want to go to the movies Call the people that you know that likes to do those type of things. There's some of your friends that might not like to do that. You know, um, you just find those people that fit in that niche at that time. Because when you have someone who's keeping it real and, you know, you're having a rough day and you're just like, okay, and ready to blow up the world. And then you go to the person who's keeping it real, and then you get mad at them because they done told you, well, why are you going to do something stupid like that? Well, now you're both mad at each other for no reason when you just could have went to the person that you needed to go to in the first place, the one who was going to agree with you and say, oh, baby, it's okay, and you know. You know, so you, you have to know where to go when you need to go there because that will cut down on that conflict. You know who to talk to about certain things, you know. This is probing your mind of who you have in your circle to do certain things. And with that, you know, you will get by. There's no way to say that, you know, all your friends are going to do the same thing or talk about the same thing or be about the same thing. So, you know, and who knows, you might even find a friend that just likes to go up and probe and blow up things and you'd be like, okay, well, let's go up to the shooting range. So, you know, that would make you happy. So, I don't know. But I know this. You know, when you have your friends and you have one that's opinionated and you have one that's so nice, that's just huggable like me. I like to hug and everybody knows this. So, you know, you just know who to go to. And you choose those friends at the time that you need them, you know. And if you got that opinionated friend, just hug them too, because they might need a little hug, you know. They might not say it, but they need a little hug and love too. Those are the ones that need the most love and hug, is the ones that's grouchy and opinionated, and they might not say it, but they do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode, and comment below and tell me something about yourself. Because I am Daz and you are you.